welcome everybody. Boy, it's Friday again. These days, these weeks are going by so fast, I feel like. Um, we've had such beautiful weather. It's been so nice to be outside and I just started gardening, so that's been really fun. And walking my dog, so it's been nice to find new things to occupy my time. But, um, so, welcome to yoga. We're gonna start laying down on your back. <clears throat> and start off comfortable so that you can be supported by the floor beneath you. I like to put a blanket under my head to support my neck. I like to have my knees bent with my feet flat on the floor, a little bit wider than my hips and my knees touching. Placing the hands on either side of your belly if that's comfortable, or you can let your hands be to the sides, palms up. So just close the eyes and begin to settle down. Settle into your yoga practice. <clears throat> Settle into the space that you've created in your home. Begin to scan the body, checking in with yourself, noticing what you might be feeling this morning and how you're feeling. <clears throat> Seeing if there's certain areas of the body that need a little extra attention today. Begin to breathe a little bit deeper than you normally do. Inhaling to completely fill up. And then when you exhale to empty, see if you can exhale a little extra. So when you have a lengthened exhale, the nervous system really relaxes throughout the body. So begin to relax the muscles in the face, the space between the eyebrows and the jaw. Feel the ears and the shoulders far away from each other so you have length in the neck. And then just feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest and belly as you breathe. And then from here, let's hug the knees into the chest. So keep your head down on the floor to start. The knees are gonna draw in, and then notice what happens to the low back when you pull the knees in. The low back lifts a little bit at the tailbone, and you get a little bit of a deeper stretch in the low back. So really draw the knees in, and then you can release. Draw the knees in, kind of lift the low back, and then release. One more time like that. Really draw the knees in, lifting the low back, and then release. And then let's make some circles with the knees. So you're gonna push the knees away from you, circle right, draw the knees into the belly, circle left, so just a couple times going from the right clockwise around towards the left, and then we'll switch sides, going to the left, pulling in, pushing away. So just getting a little bit of movement here in the hips, massaging the back on the floor. And then we'll pause. Let's take the feet up towards the ceiling. Have a nice soft bend in the knees, have the feet about hip width apart. And we're just gonna point and flex the feet, make some circles with the ankles. You can go in one direction a few times and then the other. Feeling your low back supported by the floor beneath you. And then we'll just let the feet drop down, keep the knees bent. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Maybe your arms make a circle so maybe the fingertips are touching and the arms are out a little bit softer in a circle. 
Maybe the arms are more like a field goal, depending on how tight your shoulders are. And maybe the arms are straight back, tops of the hands on the floor. So just see how you feel here. Take a deep breath in as you reach your arms straight out so that the hands are at three o'clock and nine o'clock and then take them down by your side so they're at the floor. Inhale a big circle, keeping the hands on the floor. Nine o'clock, three o'clock, and then up to 12. That's your breath in. Exhale a big circle, reaching the hands, the backs of the hands slide along the floor as you reach your hands down to the bottom. And then one more time, a big circle. Take the hands out to the sides and then up. As you're here, we'll reach the feet up towards the ceiling. That's your full breath in. And then as you exhale, lift the head a little bit up. Reach the arms out and around as you hug for the knees. So it's not really on the floor, it's a little bit higher. Inhale, arms reach up and straight back. And then exhale, a big circle, the arms reach around and hug the knees into the chest. One more time, inhale, arms reach straight up and back, feet lift, and then exhale, a big circle, the arms reach around and then reach for the shins. We're gonna take the head down to the floor, the left foot comes down to the floor, the right foot reaches up towards the ceiling. Inhale, we're going to bend the knee into the chest. Exhale, push the right heel up towards the ceiling, thigh against the hands. Inhale, bend the knee into the belly. Exhale, push the heel away up towards the ceiling, shoulders pull down away from the ears. Inhale, bend the knee and exhale, extend the leg. We're gonna stay here for a moment. Let your left leg go straight along the floor if you'd like. Pausing here. Feel the shoulders come down away from the ears. The back of the leg getting a little straighter. Doesn't have to be straight. You can flex your right foot if you really wanna get an active stretch or you can just relax the right foot. Whatever feels better here the beginning of the practice so no need to go too deep too fast and just take a few moments here to connect with that deep breath noticing how deep you can inhale and then how completely you can exhale Allowing the muscles in the face to relax, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Take a nice full deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, we're gonna hug the right knee into the chest. We'll bend the left knee so the left foot comes down onto the floor. Right ankle crosses over the left leg for figure four. So you can stay right here and just let your right hand guide your right knee away. You can reach for the back of your left thigh or you can reach for the front of your left shin. So pausing here, drawing the left knee in and relax. So we're trying to find some softness throughout the area around the right hip joint and the low back. You can sway the shape of your legs left to right. Just noticing what you feel. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed with the neck nice and long, back of the head supported. If you'd like to go a little deeper, you can tilt the shape of your legs to the left and then draw your left knee towards your left shoulder. Maybe your right elbow even pushes gently against your right thigh or your right knee to move the right knee away from the right shoulder. And then just pause here in the pose, finding softness and that nice, deep, easy breath. Take a full, deep breath in. 
and exhale completely. As you release the hands, let the left foot come down to the floor. We're gonna come into a spinal twist. Arms are gonna reach away from each other. If your back is feeling a little tight or wonky and you wanna go a little easier, you can uncross the legs. So let both feet be on the floor and the legs just gently drop over to the left. You can try that first. If you feel like you wanna go deeper, legs come back to the center, right thigh crosses over the left, hips scoot over to the right just to help line up the tailbone and the neck, and then gently let the legs drop over to the left. So this is the beginning of the practice. It might feel too deep, so just take your time easing in. And then as you breathe in, open up the rib cage and the whole side of the body on the right. So the right shoulder stays down, the right hip, moves forward away from the right shoulder. The right knee moves forward away from the right hip. So just getting lots of length here through the torso and the spine, but then able to breathe deeply and with ease. Notice what's going on in the neck. Maybe you turn the head left to right. Maybe you pause with the head over the right shoulder. And just taking these nice few deep breaths here in the twist, feeling supported by the floor beneath you. Staying right here, right now, not letting the mind wander if you can. Take one more full deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's bring the legs back to center. Uncross the legs if they're crossed, even out the hips. Hug the knees into the chest, lift the forehead to your knees. And then inhale, arms reach up and back, feet lift. And then exhale, reach the arms out and around in a big circle as you reach for your shins, draw the knees in. Inhale, arms reach up, feet lift. Exhale, nice big circle as you hug the knees into the chest. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms reach up and back. And then exhale, arms come around, reaching for the shins. Hug it in. Let's drop the head down and the right foot comes down to the floor, knee is bent. Interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Inhale, press your knee in towards the belly, and then exhale. As you let the breath out, push the thigh against the hands, relax the shoulders. Inhale, let the foot drop down, knee pulls a little bit more in, thigh presses against the belly, which is inflated by your breath, and then exhale. Belly draws in and down, back presses down, foot lifts. One more time like that. Inhale, soften, and then exhale. Let's push the foot up, and then pause. If you would like to extend your right leg straight along the floor, you can. Feet can both be flexed to be a little bit more active or relax the feet. This is a deep pose, the beginning of the practice. The hamstring might be feeling tight. So just take a few moments here to let the blood flow down the leg and let the hamstring gently and slowly soften. Notice the deep inhale and the lengthened exhale, which starts to really release any feelings of anxiety or stress, you can let those go just by having that full, deep, conscious breath. Shoulders are down, away from the ears, back is supported. We'll take one more nice full breath in here. And then as you exhale, bend the left knee We'll bend the right knee so the right foot is on the floor and then gently just place your left ankle on the right knee. You can stay here 
guiding your left knee forward, or you can reach for the back of your right thigh or your right shin, right below the knee. Shoulders are down, left hip is open, low back is relaxed and pressing down into the floor. A gentle sway left to right. Notice when you go to the right, what you feel on the left hip. And then maybe take the time to pause over there to the right. Bringing the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Maybe the left elbow presses against the left knee. Try to relax through the neck. And find that lengthened and deepened breath. Often when we're feeling a little more stressed or anxious, the tip hips get a little tighter. So just allowing the body to release some of that tightness and tension as you breathe with ease. Take one more really nice deep full breath in as you draw the right knee in a little bit more. And then let's exhale, release. The right foot comes down. The deep twist is the left thigh crossed over the right. Hips scoot over to the left. Arms reach away from each other. Legs gently drop to the right. If that's feeling too deep, uncross the legs and just stack the hips, stack the thighs. You can let your head sway left to right a little bit and then pause maybe with the head turned over your left shoulder. Both shoulder blades down on the floor, both shoulders away from the ears. Creating space for your breath along the left side, opening up the rib cage as you breathe in. Feeling your left hip moving away and opening up the low back on the left side. Feel the nice rise and fall of the belly as you increase the blood flow to the internal organs and to your digestive system. breath in and then as you exhale let's bring the legs back to center uncross them if they're crossed even out the hips we'll hug the knees into the chest rocking left to right a little bit and then you can roll to one side and gently press yourself up to sit or you can rock front to back a few times rolling out the back and then rock yourself up once we come up to sit, we're going to transition on to hands and knees. So if you have blocks, you can have them handy at the front of your mat. If you don't have them, that's okay. We're going to come into a wide knee child's pose to start. So the knees are going to go wider than your hips. Big toes are going to touch. Hips are going to sink down towards your heels. Your hands can be way out in front, palms down, elbows and forearms down, head down. You could start here. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears, shoulder blades coming together towards the back. If you'd like to go a little deeper, you can lift the forearms and press your palms down into the floor. And if you'd like to go a little deeper, you can push your finger pads down into the floor, lifting the palms, lifting the forearms and elbows and shoulders, and then dropping the head down in between your upper arms, relaxing through the neck and shoulders. Take a nice, full, deep breath in. 
And nice full deep breath out. And then from here, we're gonna bring the palms of the hands down, elbows down, and then lift up. So lift the elbows, come on up to child, um, sorry, tabletop, knees go a little bit closer together. Feet are parallel, shins are parallel. So starting here, crown of the head is forward, tailbone is back. Curl the toes under, drop the belly. Inhale as you lift the chin, open through the chest. Exhale, tuck the chin, round the back, tops of the feet press down, really round. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck and round. One more time, just like that. Inhale, and then feel where in the body you need to focus your attention. My neck has been really tight, so as I exhale, yes, I'm noticing the spine, but I'm really checking in here with the neck. So listen to your body and see what it's telling you to pay attention to. Let's come back to neutral. The right foot is gonna step straight back, toes are down on the floor. Left hand is gonna reach towards the front of the room. Pause here. We're gonna lift the right leg if you feel that you can. Belly is drawn in, nice and strong. Shoulders are down away from the ears, both of them. So not collapsing into your right shoulder and not creating stress in the left shoulder. Belly is strong, back is strong. Take a nice full deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, the left hand comes down to the floor. The right toes find the floor behind you. We're going to pivot the left foot to the left. Roll to the arch of your right foot. Press the right foot down into the floor. We're going to lift the right hand up towards the ceiling here. So reach the right hand up. Notice if your left ear is collapsing down towards your left shoulder. Lift up so the head is neutral and create a lot of space there in the neck. We're gonna lift the right foot if you can. Breathing here. And then we're gonna bend the right knee if you'd like and reach your right hand back for your right foot. Hopefully you can hold on to the arch side rather than the pinky side. And then kick your foot into your hand. Lift the chest, open through the heart. You can lift your chin. Draw the belly in so you can strengthen the muscles around your back. Take a nice full deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, the right hand is gonna come down. Your left foot is gonna come back to straight back and you're gonna step your right foot up between your hands. So the right foot comes up between the hands. This is where blocks are helpful if you have them. If not, you can always just have your hands on the floor next to your right foot. So we're just gonna pause here for a moment. Right knee is over the right ankle. Left hip is sinking down. Back of the left foot is on the floor. Let your toes go straight back rather than turning in because that kind of puts a little stress on the knee. So you wanna have your left toes straight back. As you inhale, lift the chin, open the chest. So really feel the shoulders curl back so you can open through the chest. As you exhale, hips are gonna go back, head drops just round the back here. Inhale, hips come forward, drop them down, lift the chin, exhale, Pull back. One more time. Inhale forward and lift the chin, open through the chest. And exhale, pull back. From here, you're gonna drag your right foot back, let the right knee come down. Big toes touch. Hips sink down towards your heels. Maybe your hands even stay on the blocks if you have them. Maybe lower them down to the lowest height. And then drop the head down, getting deep into the shoulders, neck, and back. If that is too deep in the shoulders, 
then you don't have to drop the head or you can push the blocks forward and let your hands be on the floor. So see what feels good for you. Be able to breathe with ease. You can rock the hips left to right. You can roll your forehead left to right. You can make some circles with your wrists if you'd like. Full breath in and a full breath out. Let's come back up onto hands and knees. Three breaths here to even out the spine and hips. So inhale, lift the chin and open through the chest. Exhale, tuck and round. Maybe you shift your weight to the back a little bit. Inhale, you can shift your weight forward a little. Drop the chin, I'm sorry, drop the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, rock back and pull back. One more time, inhale, maybe shifting the weight forward a little bit to lift, and then exhale, pull back round. And then we'll come back to neutral spine here. Left foot reaches straight back, right foot, right hand reaches forward. Pause here, pull the shoulders down away from the ears, and let's lift the left foot. So just pause and notice. Feel the belly drawing in and up. Back leg is strong. Flexed foot. Your right arm is relaxed enough so that the shoulder is not near your ear. And just pause here. Find your balance. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, the right hand comes down to the floor, left toes find the floor behind you. We'll pivot the right foot to the right, roll to the arch of your left foot, left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. So you can stay right here, stacked shoulders, stacked hips. If you'd like to lift your left leg, you can. Flex and keep it hip height. And then if you want to bend your left knee and reach your left hand back for your left foot, you can. Lifting through the chest, opening through the collarbones. Pause here, opening up the hip flexor and the quad. Drawing the belly in, that'll help strengthen the muscles in the back as well as the front of the core. And then as you exhale, release the foot, left hand comes down, right foot pivots back to the mat so it's straight back, left foot steps forward up between your hands. Again, hands can be on the floor or on blocks or books. The left knee is right over the left ankle. Right knee is scooted back. Back foot is relaxed, toes facing the back of the room. From here with dropped heavy hips, inhale, lift the chin, open through the collarbones and chest. Exhale, just let the hips go back, round the back, lengthen the left leg. Inhale, lift and open through the front, getting a deep stretch in your hip flexor. Exhale, pull back. One more time, just like that. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. From here, you're going to drop, bring your left knee back to where it was. So now you're in tabletop. Your hands are still on the blocks if you'd like. We're stepping the right foot back up between your hands. So now you're in a low lunge with the right foot forward. Getting a little bit stronger and deeper here. We're gonna curl the left toes under, lift the left knee. So you're in a low lunge. If you need the support of the knee, then let the knee stay on the floor. If you can lift the back knee, have it lifted. Pull the belly in, 
strong knee joint, strong hip joint. If you'd like to go a little deeper and stronger, you can come up onto fingertips. And a little deeper and stronger, you can let your hands hover or take them behind you. Reach the fingertips back behind you as your palms face the ceiling. Keep the right knee over the right ankle, really strong here. Belly is drawn in. Find that nice deep breath. Full breath in. And then full breath out. We'll bring the hands down to the floor. Left knee drops to the floor. Relax the left foot. You're going to bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Turn your right toes to 2 o'clock. Roll to the pinky side of your right foot. You can sway left to right here, so we're getting deep into that right hip joint. This is a lizard pose, similar to a pigeon pose. The pigeon sometimes puts a little bit of pressure on the knee, so I prefer this as a hip opener. If you want to go deeper, your forearms can come down to the floor or to blocks. Try to feel your hips even and centered, so you're not leaning over to the left. You're straight up, chest is parallel to the floor, whether it's lifted or low. Let that right knee open as you gently sway left to right. So this is a very deep hip opener, so just pause. Notice what you feel, just take it in. And let it go. Relax the neck. Take a nice deep full breath in and a deep full breath out. We'll take the hands to the blocks or the floor. Let your right foot go face forward. Frame your front foot again. We're going to walk the hands back towards your right knee so your hands are on the floor level with the knee. We'll flex the right foot, push the heel down, the right leg is straight and the chest is open. So try to neutralize out that right hip by having the legs straight. We're not focusing too much on getting deep into the hamstring but more staying grounded letting the hip take a little bit of a break for a moment because we're going to come into a standing hip opener in a moment. So just pause here, catch your breath. This doesn't have to be too deep, just pause and breathe. I like to keep the chest upright in this pose, but if you'd like to fold forward, feel free. One more nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, we're going to drag the right foot back so it's going to land right next to your hands. Your right knee is over your right ankle. Hands are going to move forward about a foot. So you can use the floor, stack books or blocks, whatever you'd like here. We're going to curl the left toes under. Push off the left foot and left knee and lift so that you're standing on your right foot. So this can be as deep as you go. You don't have to go any deeper than this. The left foot is flexed and lifted. If you would like to go deeper, we're going to keep the right hand where it is. You're going to rotate your left hip so that your arch of your left foot is parallel to the floor. So now you're feeling a little bit more open in that right hip. If you would like to lift your left hand off the floor and rotate your body, so just work here, play around a little bit. You can fall in and out of the pose. So flex left foot, this is a half moon pose. The left hand is reaching up towards the ceiling Hips are stacked, so we opened the right hip. Now we're strengthening the joint, the muscles around that joint, as well as finding balance, focus, flexibility, 
and a little playfulness. Take a full breath in, and then as you exhale, left foot joins the right foot. Hang with soft knees. Catch your breath. You can sway left to right. You can hold on to opposite elbows and hang. If you need extra support, let the elbows rest on your legs above the knee. Relax the head and neck and shoulders. Let the weight of the head release the neck. A nice full deep breath in and a nice full deep breath out from here you're going to place your hands on the floor in front of you or blocks step your left foot up between your hands step the right foot all the way back to the back of the mat you're in a low lunge with the left foot forward if you want to drop the right knee you can Otherwise, legs are strong here. Left knee is over the left ankle. Hands can be on the floor with tented fingertips or palms flat on blocks, on books, whatever you'd like here. Feel strong in the legs. You can feel stronger by coming up onto fingertips so you're not using your arms and shoulders so much. If you'd like to go a little deeper and stronger, you can take your hands, reach the fingertips behind you. So here, this is a really important pose. We're strengthening the muscle around your knee joint and the hip joint. So focusing a lot on not just lengthening and opening, but also strengthening. So when we strengthen, when things are lengthened, we get even stronger from the inside out. So take a full deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, drop the hands, drop the right knee, Relax the top of the right foot on the floor. Left hand comes to the inside of your left foot. Turn your toes to 10 o'clock. Roll to the pinky side of your left foot. So here, we were strengthening. Now we're gonna open. We're gonna open that left hip. Let the knee be supported by having your toes and the knee going in the same direction. So if you didn't turn your toes to 10 o'clock, please do. That protects the knee joint. We're opening up the right hip flexor here. And then just stay connected to your breath. So if you want to come down onto forearms, you can. So these deep hip openers can not only just get into the tissues and the joint, but also can get into the head a little bit. So let's try to let go of any stress, any anxiety, any tension. Let that go as you breathe deeply in this hip opener. See if you can keep the hips relatively even, not leaning way over to the right. Take a nice, full, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let's let the left foot face forward. Foot down on the floor. Hands frame the foot as you walk your hands back to your where your knee is. If you don't have blocks, you can come all the way up and let your hands just be on your hips. Left leg goes straight. Heel is down, toes are up. So if you don't have blocks for your hands, that's okay. It's a little bit more balancing here to have to have your hands on your hips. But reaching for the floor is sometimes hard in this pose. If you want to reach for the floor and you can't, you can always soften the knee, then you can reach the floor. So let's keep the chest open for a moment here as you breathe, getting into the hip, getting it neutral so that the thigh bone is coming straight out of the hip joint. Gently releasing the hamstring. Taking nice full deep breaths. 
And then from here, we're gonna drag that left foot back. It's gonna land right underneath the knee. Both hands are gonna walk about a foot in front of your left foot. Curl the right toes under, push off of the toes as you lift the right knee and come up onto your left foot. So this can be modified. You can be playing around with lifting the right toes and just working on your balance here. So remember, when you're standing on one limb, one leg, or you have your arm down, you're not only working on muscle, but we're actually increasing bone density here. So this is super important to really weight bear on that one leg. If you'd like to go deeper into that half moon balancing pose, turn your right foot so that the toes are facing in front of you, your arch is parallel to the floor, and hips are more stacked. Start to think about lifting your right hand, falling in and out of the pose is okay, the right hand lifting up towards the ceiling rotating your chest to face the right. Your hips are stacked. Your back foot is flexed. Shoulders are relaxed. And then when you're ready, slowly come down to a standing forward bend, hanging out here. So the knees are soft. Head is heavy, you can shake your head yes and no to release the neck. We'll take a nice full deep breath in here. And a nice full deep breath out. We're gonna give the hips and legs a little break here. As the hands come down to the floor, you're gonna step your right foot back and your left foot back, and you're in a plank pose. Shoulders over wrists. Knees are welcome to be down on the floor if you'd like. Otherwise, you're at the top of a push-up. Knees are lifted if you can. Shoulders are over your wrists. Belly is drawn in. Pause here. Feel strong in the shoulders. Strong in the chest and core. We lengthened a lot, now we're strengthening. Okay, this is a little bit of a difficult transition, so if you wanna bring your knees down first, you can. Otherwise, see if you can do it. You're gonna bring your right forearm down to the floor, left forearm down to the floor. Hips drop down a little bit, now you're in a forearm plank. Shoulders are over your elbows. Shoulders are away from the ears. Belly is drawn in. So finding that strength here through the shoulders, through the core. Relax through the neck if you can. Faces parallel to the floor. Whew. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, drop the knees, drop the belly. Come all the way down onto the floor on your belly. Make a pillow with your hands under your forehead. Bend your knees and winch away for the legs left to right. So again, just trying to find a way to stay connected to your practice, connected to your breath, what you're feeling, how you're feeling. Just staying right here, right now. So we've grounded down through the back a lot. We're gonna strengthen the back now. So tops of the feet are gonna relax down on the floor. Your hands are gonna come by your chest as if you're gonna come up into a cobra pose. So your hands are down next to your chest, but then you're gonna walk your hands forward until your forearms and your elbows are on the floor, right by your sides. They're not out wide, but right by your sides. 
forehead is down, face is gonna stay looking at your mat. You're not gonna try to look up. As you inhale, lift the chest, keep the crown of the head forward, shoulders are away from the ears. Feel the strength in those muscles in your low back. Exhale, lower, really slow and controlled. Inhale, lift. The more you can keep your shoulders back, you're strengthening the muscles that help with posture between the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. And even more importantly, those muscles at the low back prevent a lot of injury there. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep the neck neutral. Move with your breath. Inhale, lift. Keep the forearms and elbows down so you don't lift too high. Exhale, lower. So this is not really a back bend. We're not trying to get deep into the arch, but try to strengthen. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale, lift, nice and slow. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, really slow and deep. Inhale, lift. Shoulders down, chest up, low back strong. And then exhale, lower. Take the hands on the floor by your chest and push up and back, child's pose. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your arms, and breathe. Reconnect. Check in. Noticing if any of the areas of the body that you paid attention to at the beginning of the practice, notice if you feel a change or a difference. I know my neck right now feels a lot better and so does my back and shoulders. So it's nice to be able to recognize the change Feel the difference and feel the benefits and the impact of your practice. Take one more nice deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, let's bring yourself back up to table. We're going to pivot both feet over to the right. Walk your hands back to your Knees, let your hip come down and we'll swing feet around to the front. You might want to move so that you're at more of the center of your mat. Feet are going to be forward in front of you. Knees are bent. Hands are going to come behind you here. So actually let's let the feet be about hip width apart. Elbows are soft. You're just going to push the chest up. Shoulders open, lift the chin. So this is option one. Option two, lift the hips. So you're in a reverse table. So we spend a lot of time in table. This is a reverse table. I like to keep my chin tucked in because I have a tight neck, but if you want to let your head hang back, you can. And if you'd like to go even deeper, legs can go straight and then you can lift into a reverse plank. So just see what feels better for you. Try to lift through the chest. We're strengthening through the fronts of the shoulders, the core. Head can be back or tucked in. Try to lift a little higher in the chest. One more deep breath in and then exhale, lower the seat. Bring the soles of the feet together. Have a nice big diamond here. We'll take the hands onto the ankles. Inhale, lift the chin. And then exhale, lead with the chest. Chest is coming down towards the space between your legs. 
Then make your face parallel to the mat. Crown of the head is forward, so we're getting a little more length. And then completely let go. You can hang your head. Relax the shoulders. Inner thighs, outer thighs. Hips and back. Completely let go and relax. Feel free to sway left to right. When you take your torso over to the right, you can really feel a nice stretch in the left side of your low back as you lift it away from the hip. You can sway over to the left, lift your low back away from the hip. You can let the shoulders just hang Release the neck. Take one more deep breath in here. And a full breath out. Slowly make your way up. We're gonna bring the knees together. And then slowly make your way onto your back. Feel free to Hug the knees into the chest just to get your low back stabilized on the floor. Then we'll let the feet come down. About mat width apart, knees are bent. Adjust so that your back feels supported on the floor. So rather than tilting your pelvis forward, draw it back so your low back comes down. Arms can reach away from each other. And then just a gentle sway of the legs left to right. So both legs to one side, both legs to the other. You can match movement to the breath, inhaling, bring the legs up, exhaling, they go to one side. Inhaling up to center, exhaling to the other side. If you'd like to add the neck, inhale to center, exhale, if legs go left, head turns right. Inhale, center, legs go right, head turns left. Just getting some last little kinks out of the neck and hips and back. Breath is flowing with ease. And then when you're ready, come back to center. We'll just hug the knees into the chest. One last time, bring your forehead to your knees. We're going to scrunch up your toes, so the opposite of what I've just said for an hour. Scrunch up the toes, make fists with your hands, shoulders are up by your ears, scrunch up your face, belly is in, thighs are in, take a full breath in and hold. And then as you exhale, slowly release all of that tightness and tension that you just created and any last bit of tightness or tension that you might be hanging on to. And let your body melt into final relaxation, savasana pose, shavasana. If you need to make any adjustments, feel free. If you wanna use props, if you need a blanket or a sweatshirt, Once you find the pose where you can be completely supported by the floor beneath you, let the eyes be closed. Let the breath flow with ease. Feel the back of the head grounded down by the floor. Feel the shoulder blades and the hips supported by the floor. Let the floor support the weight of the arms and legs. And then feel the lightness around the face. 
around the heart. Feel the nice, gentle, light rise and fall of the chest and belly as you breathe. Feel the weight of the air in the room resting in your palms. And then just feel the temperature of the air in the room against the skin on your feet. Take these last few moments of your practice to let the energy settle. And let your practice settle. about what part of the practice you can take with you the rest of your day, the rest of your week or weekend. Trying to stay connected to your thoughts and feelings. Staying grounded in your current state of mind and whatever it is that you're doing in that present moment. Take the right hand over the heart, the left hand over the right hand. Remembering that we are all connected. And not only are we here with each other, but we're here for each other. Slowly begin to move the toes and feet. And take your time to transition the body out of Shavasana in any way that feels good and gentle to you. And when you're ready, we'll meet seated in a comfortable sitting position with the palms together in front of your heart center to connect with your practice, to honor your practice, to seal it in. And I hope you have a beautiful Friday and a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, staying safe with your family and close loved ones. Namaste.